Welcome back to another Premier League Predictions video. This is for week 25 of the Premier League and I've been watching some Champions League football this week which has nothing to do with the Premier League. First game up is Wolves and Leeds. This is a big game for both sides. For Leeds, if they win, they go into the top 10. For Wolves, they take another step to redeeming their season. Either side could win this game. It's going to be a tough game for both sides. For Wolves, last week they had an impressive away win to Southampton, coming from behind. And Leeds, they got destroyed by Arsenal. So their confidence could be on the floor. I think it will be a 2-1 win to Wolves. Next game up is Southampton and Chelsea. This will be a 2-0 win to Chelsea. Next game up is Burnley and West Brom. This is a massive game for both sides in the relegation battle. Although Burnley have kind of pulled away from that zone so they're not really in danger. But for West Brom they're still in the bottom three and they need to win some games. Burnley had a very impressive away win to pass last week scoring three goals which is absolutely brilliant. It was a great game by them. And West Brom, they got a decent result to Man United at home, drawing 1-1. Either side could win this game, but I think it'll be a 2-1 win to Burnley. Next game up is Liverpool and Everton. This is a massive game for both sides. Obviously, it's the Merseyside Derby, but for the race in the top four, both sides have to win this game. Obviously, Liverpool lost last week to Leicester, which I think they're a bit unlucky. And for Everton, they lost two games last week to Fulham and Man City. The Man City result wasn't so bad because Man City are flying right now, but that home defeat to Fulham was shocking, and they really should have won that game, but they didn't. Obviously, it looks like they're out of form. And for Liverpool, you know, they didn't play too bad in that defeat to Leicester. But in this game, anyone could win it. I think it'll be a 2-0 win to Liverpool. Next game up is West Ham and Tottenham. This will be a 2-0 win to West Ham. Tottenham have been so bad recently, really the last, I think, two to three months. Because they started the season well. They were on fire at the start of the season. There was talk of them uh, winning the Premier League and a couple of trophies. But I think now that talk has died down because of how bad they've been. Tottenham aren't particularly good at creating goals. Actually, I can't see where the next goal is coming from. That's how bad it is. And they're not particularly great at defending as well. So they're in a really dire situation. Whereas with West Ham, they're flying right now. They're in the race for the top four. And I think they're going to continue that race. Next game up is Aston Villa and Leicester. This will be a 1-1 draw. Although Leicester did win impressively to Liverpool last week, I think that in this game, Villa, they're still a team that are resolute defensively, so it's going to be tough to create chances. And in that Liverpool win, they were kind of on the back foot for a lot of that game, so they didn't really have you know the opportunity to go forward. And when they did, they didn't really take their chances, so in attack... I think they're a bit shaky. And with Villa, once again, you know, they're good defensively, but going forward, they don't really create too many chances. And I think the 1 1 result is about right. Next game up is Arsenal and Man City. This will be a 3 0 win to City. I don't see Arsenal getting anything out of this game because Man City are flying at the moment. I think they've won the last 10 league games, which is absolutely absurd, ridiculous. Whatever other words you want to insert. And um, yeah, that's about it for this match. Next game up is Man United and Newcastle. This is a tough game to call because I don't know how this game is going to go. Obviously on paper, Man United should win. But they've been so shaky recently that I don't know what's going to happen. And with Newcastle, obviously they're in a relegation battle. So they'll be wanting to win this game. And once again, with Man United, they were flying a couple of weeks ago. Not a couple of weeks ago, but at one stage, they were flying. They were winning games, you know, pretty much every week. They did get the odd draw here and there, but, you know, for the most part, they were dominating matches. And for Newcastle, 
they did get an impressive win against Everton a couple of weeks ago, but now it looks like things have died down a bit. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. Next game up is Brighton and Crystal Palace. This will be a 2-0 win to Brighton. I can't really make an argument for Palace winning this game, other than the fact that they will create chances. Whereas with uh, with Brighton, they've been more consistent, so I think they'll create you know the opportunities to be able to take this game away from Palace. Um, you know, I think Palace is another team that you know they had a decent start to the season, but things have just faded badly, and they haven't been able to recapture that early season form. Whereas with Brighton, they've been the opposite. They had a shocking start to the season. They were playing well, but you know obviously. Brighton play well every season. They just don't finish high up in the table. But in this case, it looks like they started badly and they've kind of gotten better as the season's gone along. So in this game, they are the favourites to win. Next game up is Leeds and Southampton. This will be a 3-0-1... 3-1. Uh, 3-0. This will be a 3-1 win to Southampton. I mean Leeds. What the hell's going on? This will be a 3-1 win to Leeds. Alright, there we go. Um, obviously, Southampton have been in shocking form. And that will continue. Whereas with Leeds, they have a chance to really not only finish in the top 10. I think they could potentially challenge for the top 6. I'm not sure about the top 4. But they could finish in a European spot this season. Even though defensively, you know, they are suspect. But... I think that if they score enough goals, they'll give themselves an opportunity. And I think by winning this game, they take another step towards that. And that's about it.